Hi friend, this is Mandeep and you are watching High Technology TV. In this video, I am going to show you how to host a static website on Google Cloud Platform and map your custom domain. And that is super easy. So right now we are at console.googlecloud.google.com dashboard page and here we have to go to the compute engine and then click on the VM instances. If you are new to the Google Cloud Platform, so you can follow my earlier video. There I have already explained that how to create a Google Cloud Platform account for free for 12 months. So here we are going to click on create instance, so click on it. I am giving it name WebVM and this is the machine type I am keeping it as default and region and zone is also default here on the boot disk i'm going to change it to ubuntu so here choose ubuntu and we are using ubuntu 16.04 lts click on select allow http and https traffic then Click on management security disk networking sole tenancy then go to the networking. Click on this particular default and here click on the ephemeral. Click here and click on create IP address. Give it, give it name static web and click on resolve. There are two types, uh, one of them is premium and another is standard. So I'm keeping it premium and click on reserve here. Okay, and this particular IP is reserved to our this particular VM instance. So even in the case of reboot or shutdown and again startup of the machine, our IP will not be changed. So now just click on the create and one of the great thing about google cloud platform is that it will create our instances within a minutes and here you are able to see that it is created within seconds so right now it is started so just click on ssh here Okay, I'm going to maximize it. Okay, so we are connected successfully to our virtual machine. So let's go to the root by typing sudo bash and we are with root now, login with root. So first of all, we have to use apt get update command. and then let's clear it app cat install apache so done we have successfully installed apache so now back to our compute engine page and let's copy this particular IP so just click here and copy it and then type HTTP on hit enter and you are able to see that Apache 2 Ubuntu default page is served here so now what we have to do is we have to change this particular page with our page and we are going to change the IP with our 
domain so we are going to add a custom domain to this particular ip so for that what we have to do is we have to just go to the google cloud platform then here type here on the dns type here dns and then go to the cloud dns and here click on create zone giving it name high tech one and dns is high technology dot space this is my domain name let me check it okay it's perfectly fine and zone type is public so just click here create and it's created successfully so what you have to do you is you have to copy these particular name servers and go to your domain provider and change the default name servers with these you have to change the value of all of them so here it is going to be two three and four and just click on update name servers done here okay name server is successfully updated great now what we have to do is we have to click on add record set here on the cloud dns and here we are going to add a a record type and here we have to provide the ip okay for that we have to copy this let's copy this this is the ip remove these http and click on create done now again we are going to create a c name www and choose c name and type here high technology dot space and click on create done great so our cloud dns part is done now back to our domain provider here close it and now go to the manage dns here and here we have to add a, a record so just click on add a record and type here the ip address okay we just have to copy the ip address this is the ip address copy this paste it here click add record done so our a record is added successfully so now back here otherwise let's open a high technology space so it is going to take some time so meanwhile let's wait for that and in the meantime we are going to change the we are going to change the content of our website we are going to upload our website so clear it and the apache web directory is cd wire www html and this is the index file so we are going to move this to um, v index dot html dot backup done and if you go back here and just hit enter now nothing will be here as you are able to see it is showing index.html.backup so back 
back here now it is not serving apache page and we are going to create a new website so for that what we have to do is i am uploading the my website first phase index page from here otherwise you can directly update upgrade update or upload your content through filezilla or winsap ftp clients so let's choose the index.html okay it's tra transfer but it is transferred to this particular directory so close it cd home done ll now move this particular file index file to where www html great back to the website refresh it again and here it is this is a coming soon page only so our website is uploaded by this way you can also use the filezilla ftp client and let's see the high technology dot space it's not reflecting so sometime it is going to take some time so we have to wait for that meanwhile let's wait it's not working so let's wait for that and uh, i will mention here that how much time it will take to reflect to my name servers and update my name servers for this particular domain okay friends so as you are able to see that now it is now we are able to ping so let's check the website and as you are able to see that it works perfectly fine now so now let's see now change the content of this particular page go to this directory and open this page and as you are able to see that here we have just written coming soon so just we are going to add a go into the insert mode and just add exclamation mark here and save it and now let's check the website refresh it and as you are able to see that it is added here so by this way you can host your static website on google cloud and map your custom domain it's super easy if you guys do have any issue just put comment and i will definitely help you thank you thank you for watching have a great day